Hello. What do I feel like I am so round right now? Maybe because <laughs> I am a little bit. Anyways, I've been wanting to vlog because I, th I thought that it sounded fun and that I would like to do it. So I'm doing it. I did a little poll on my channel and nobody has clicked anything. That's okay because, uh, it's a small channel, you know, people have work and lives and stuff. Maybe they're all just too busy to answer my poll. So I'm just gonna do what I wanna do, and that is to make a little vlog. So first things first, yesterday I was all dolled up. I did my makeup, I had on eyeshadow. I actually changed my profile picture from a picture that I took of myself yesterday because I never do my makeup. So um, I was like, I better take advantage of this. Let's see, what what else, What? why am I saying that? I'm saying that because I think that it was good and great and that I really liked it. And so I'm gonna go do it again. I'm gonna go do my makeup and clean my teeth and put in some more dry shampoo probably. Put on some real pants maybe. I mean, this shirt is fine. It's a t-shirt, I can keep wearing it, but I'm in my pajamas. Not that I have any plans outside of the home or anything. I mean, Jared's at work, so I got no form of transportation other than my own two little feet. Um, and I'm not gonna use those to go anywhere. So yeah, let's go get ready for the day. And by day, I mean the afternoon because it is before one o'clock, but after 12. And I have some chores that I need to do, but this video isn't gonna be about doing the chores. It's gonna be about being with me while I do the chores. So I hope that you like me. <laughs> Because uh, if you don't, this video is probably not going to be very fun for you. Okay, to the bathroom. Uh, this angle is just really bad. How do I, how do I fix it? I don't know if I can. Okay, this might be a little bit better. The thing is, my boobies really are not that big, but they look large because they're right in front of the camera. So just ignore that. You can see my nipples too. <laughs> Ignore those as well. Um, and yeah, this is what we are working with. Nipples and my unwashed hair. <laughs> I brushed a half fast. Also, does everybody's hairbrush look like this? I, I have to assume yes. I really hope so. Do you clean it every single day? I don't, but I did know somebody, formerly knew someone, cleaned out their hairbrush every single time they brushed their hair. Mm. Onto my face. I don't know if I want to wash it before I put makeup on it. Okay, yeah, I think that I should wash my face. That's why I had to take off my makeup. I just used a makeup remover wipe and the dog may or may not have licked my face. And I may or may not have rubbed my face on their faces. Probably best to wash off some of that first. I'm also gonna brush my teeth. <laughs> Face washed and moisturized. I use this moisturizer, I think in another video I said it was CeraVe, but it's Cetaphil. I like it, it's fine. I don't, I don't know enough about any of that stuff to really have an opinion or a good opinion or thoughts other than like, I mean, I think I'm good, I don't know. I need to get another thing of this, the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. I got this almost three years ago because I bought it for my wedding and our three year anniversary is in July. So I know that it's out of date probably. Like I know that there's a, I thought there was usually like a little symbol that said how many months it's fine after it's opened to use, but whatever. Even if it had that, I would use it anyway. Then I'm almost out. Hello, Wawa and baby. feel good and cute and like excited about myself again if that makes any sense whatsoever I mean it's not like I've like necessarily let myself go per se but I am doing too many edibles and eating too much because of the munchies I mean we had stopped doing edibles and drinking pretty much all together when we started trying to have a baby. But then that first cycle that we were really trying and it didn't happen, I was, um, I was pretty upset. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I 
kind of got over it quickly because I just forced myself like not to think about it and not to talk about it. But um, man, the stress really did me in. So I was trying to make sure that we did everything perfectly so that way we would have the, the best chances to get pregnant. And that might have been the case, but it still did not result in pregnancy. So I've tried to like, you know, do that thing where I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter if it happens, it happens. Because most of the time, whenever you stop trying or stop looking, like you find or get what you wanted. Um, so I'm trying to do that, but that also has caused me to like stop limiting myself on things that I want to limit myself on anyway, like drinking alcohol and doing edibles. I mean, of course, if I were to find out I was pregnant, all of that would cease immediately. But since I'm trying to keep the pressure off myself, I'm like, well, if I want to do it, then I'm just going to let myself do it. Because I was so strict that first cycle that we were trying, I think I did a little bit of the opposite whenever I was like, okay, well, I'm not trying anymore. It's not that I'm not trying. Like, we still did what we were supposed to do, like did our parts during the window that you're supposed to. So yeah, like it wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world if I were pregnant right now. And I should find that out by the end of this week. But I just, I don't have any inkling that I am actually pregnant. And I feel like I would have a feeling, I don't know. So I'm expecting to get my period and we'll see. My tatas hurt so bad and they did last cycle too, which is another reason that I thought that I was pregnant. I also was having all these pregnancy symptoms that I didn't know if I was making up at the time. And then I convinced myself that I wasn't making it up and that I had to be pregnant because I had all these symptoms and then I wasn't. And it's just a downer. So um, yeah, I thought that my boobs hurting so bad for like two weeks straight was a sign that I was pregnant, but no, it happened again this cycle. And it is a sign that, I don't know, that my hormones are going through a new phase, I guess, which sucks because I guess that I'll just deal with excruciating boobs until I get pregnant and probably during pregnancy. Yeah, I don't, my body just, my, my body is really bad at handling hormones if I don't have something handling it for me, like birth control. My boobs, like, they don't even get that much bigger. They don't even like really swell or anything around this time. They just feel like they're just like getting ripped off all the time. <laughs> wearing a bra kind of helps like keep them in but it also feels good to let them out and then it just hurts so bad and I want to go run at the gym but it hurts so I like I run like this <laughs> on the treadmill hopefully people don't look at me too closely or they could I'm sure any female would be like mm, I know that feeling okay let's see what do we want to do on our eyeballs pretty we took lish color which I don't know what they're called anymore. I'm pretty sure it came with a thing over top that had all the different names, but I put that somewhere, probably the trash. So I don't know what it is. This is the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic palette. <laughs> it has a lot of colors in it and they're so pretty and Jared got it for me for Christmas and I was so excited because I can do so much with it. Can you tell? No, didn't think so. <laughs> You'll have to excuse, I mean, that I'm in the bathroom with awful lighting. We need an additional light bulb in here <laughs> too. So it's already, the odds are already against me coming in here. On top of it just being bathroom lighting with no windows, um, we're missing a light bulb. My apologies. This is so pretty and fun. It's so pretty and fun. I love being a girl. I really do. I like being a girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to do this thing because I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can tell, but over on this side, my top lashes and my bottom lashes on this corner are just touching like at all times. And so whenever I put mascara on, they stick together really bad and it's really annoying. So I try to get my curler to grab all of these like over here on the outside too. And then I have to pull this lid down to try to separate these lashes from these lashes. So yeah, it's really hard being me. Basically. Okay, we'll just have to see what happens. And see, this is a sample. Like with my face moisturizer, that's what I had and would use until I ran out and had to go to the store and actually make a decision. I think that's really what it is, is that I have so much decision, anxiety, and fatigue. Holy crap, going to the store and trying to pick something out, anything. A flavor, a color. It stresses me the f out and I don't like it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm good with nothing. I think I'll just go home. How does it look? A lot better than the other one, holy Do you see that? Wow. No, that's good. Pretty? Pretty. Mm -hmm. 
I like it. Surprisingly, for me, I don't do anything to my eyebrows. I don't groom them or shape them. Put some powder in them to make them a little bit darker and call it a day. A little bit of an old classic. Does anybody remember or is it still even a thing that Forever 21 has makeup? <laughs> I haven't been inside of Forever 21 in a very long time. I got this in high school and uh, yep, still have it going on. I mean, nine years. I graduated high school nine years ago, so. Probably need to get rid of that. Maybe I will one day if I come into some money, but for now, it do the job. Done. Wash hands. A little OBDS. Off-brand dry shampoo. There you have it. My shirt is dirty because I've been cuddling the dogs and my hair shedding, their hair is shedding, so it all gets on me, but I'm not going anywhere today. And if I put on a new clean shirt, it's just gonna wind up in the same state as this by the, by the end of the day. So we're gonna stick with this shirt, but we do have some pajama bottoms that we're gonna change out of. And did you see that little belly? Yeah, that is because I'm eating too many edibles and then eating too much, too much, <laughs> Freudian slip, too much during my munchy phase. So we gotta stop doing that and get our butts to the gym. I have been going to the gym relatively regularly and I like doing that, but obviously not enough because I'm still eating more calories than I am burning. Let's change our pants. Okay. We got our jeans on. Um, I'm feeling good. Went to the kitchen and see what we can do in there. Okay, I think that we shall do something about the state of this place. Throw some stuff away, clean some stuff up. First thing that I need to get rid of, the trash that's on the counters and the floor. Guess what just happened? He's home, early. I am. a little bit um there's still more to do that may or may not get done today but i want to run out to the store really quick i think because i really want to do a pantry makeover so this little pantry closet in the kitchen is kind of an awkward area obviously it's deeper into the sides of the walls than what you can see but that makes getting like things in and out of this is difficult. Yeah, and it just has some random stuff in it that I would like to organize a little bit better and have our actual pantry ingredients organized better. Also, I got this actually on Facebook Marketplace. I've been looking for it on Amazon, um, but hadn't pulled the trigger because it was like $25 or something. And then I saw one pop up on Facebook Marketplace that was perfect. So what I've put in there so far is only the plastic wrap. I wanted to hold off until I did my pantry remodel video to put in my wax paper and my foil. Now that Jared's home, I have the card and I'm already ready to leave the house, so I probably will just change my shirt, honestly, since I'm leaving the house now. I might also stop by a grocery store to see if I can find any house plants because I want to turn this wall into like a plant wall and also with some art like this that we currently have on the mantle, I wanna get hung up over there. 
um, and then maybe some shelves with plants and maybe a little bookshelf or something to keep my books. I might look at a grocery store, but it's getting kind of late, so I might just go to Big Lots and then come home. Well, we'll see. Okay, this is the fit. What do we think? I think it's cute. I like it. It's also like 85 degrees out, so got the gun show on display. <laughs> okay. I'm home now and I will show you what I got at the store, but first I have to scoop it up a little bit. So Jerry Kimmel. Nicely gracious, incredible, loving, caring, perfect husband he is. <laughs> With good lighting. Some of this isn't blush. I am I'm warm. I have finished scooping scoop it a poopa and washed my hands and fed the dogs and Jared's mowing and I'm gonna show you the things that I got from Big Lots really quick. I'm not cleaning the table before I show you this. Judge me if you want, but I don't want to hear it. Keep it yourself. So I got this set of three storage bins. They're pretty they're pretty deep. There's three of them, so I thought that I could use them for like packages of buns because I make our sandwich loaves, but I haven't started making all of our bread yet. So we still have some like hamburger buns and hot dog buns. I could put in here and maybe cans and bags of chips, boxes of things like pasta, um, big things like that. I thought would be good for these. And then I got two of these in the same size. Holy sh that is glass, oopsie. I got two of these in the same size for my flowers. I'm gonna have to figure out how to label them because I'll need to, you know, differentiate between my bread flour and my all purpose. And then I got a smaller version for sugar. One other thing that I do have are these two canisters that I got from the dollar store years ago that I used to use for my flour and sugar, but they're just too small now for how much work I do in the kitchen. So yeah, I don't know what I'll end up doing with those, but I have those free now. And I have these and the white ones that are already in there. I don't think that we are going to be doing anything else for the evening. I'm just gonna be heating up leftovers. Last night I made the blackened shrimp kind of a toppy tappy <laughs> that I talked about in my grocery list video and then we'll probably just hang out and Jared hasn't necessarily had a bad day but not the best day you know just work so I'm gonna spend some good time with him I'm gonna go ahead and end this here it was a lot of fun I had a lot of fun talking to you and bringing you along with me and stuff stay tuned for my next video to see what I do with those things and how I transform the pantry and yeah thanks so much for being here and I will see you in my next one bye